Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Waram, and in today's video, we'll be covering everything you need to know about Heirloom Shards in Apex Legends. We'll be answering your questions such as, what are Heirloom Shards? How do you unlock them? And what is the fastest methods and tips you could use to unlock these shards? But before we get into today's video, make sure to drop a like if you found this information helpful, and subscribe if you aren't already. I'll catch you in the video. First question, what are Heirloom Shards? Heirloom Shards are used to unlock heirlooms and prestige skin for different characters. These are seen as valuable items because they're so rare in the game, and only players that have put a lot of time in or spent a lot of money on the game to show their dedication actually have them. So how do you unlock these shards you may be asking? Well, simple, you'll just need to open Apex Pack to get an heirloom. Well, you'll get the heirloom shards, you'll have to buy the heirloom of your choosing. How many packs you ask? Just a simple 500 pack, you know, nothing too much. Seems to open up, right? Uh, that's where I'm kinda wrong, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but you're guaranteed an heirloom shard drop in your 500th pack. This includes Apex packs you earn from the Battle Pass, Treasure Packs, Event Packs, buying Apex Packs, or any other packs you would earn normally. The way it works is, every time you open an Apex pack, there's a 1 in 500 chance that you'll earn heirloom shards. This is a less than 1% chance, which just boils down to 0.2% chance of unlocking heirloom shards. And if you're feeling lucky, test your odds. But most of us, you know, we just have to wait for like, level 2000s to unlock them. <laughs> but what are the other ways you could earn heirloom shards, just heirlooms in general? Normally when there's events mid-season or mid-split, there's normally events where you could buy heirloom shards through anniversary events, or various heirloom throughout random events for that specific character. To normally collect these event heirloom shards or packs, you'll have to buy all 24 items listed in the shop and you'll be awarded the heirloom or the heirloom shard for free. This normally costs around $160-$170 for event heirlooms and shards, or if you want the heirloom of your choosing, you could simply buy 500 packs for $500. Packs go for a dollar piece, and on your 500 pack, you're guaranteed your heirloom. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there asking, can I earn these shards for free? Um, the answer is kind of, but it's going to take a long time. Keep in mind, you need to unlock 500 packs to unlock these shards. So, normally, from level 2 to 20, you'll unlock 19 packs. From level 22 to 300, you'll unlock 140 packs. From level 305 to 500, you'll unlock 40 packs. So from the first prestige, you'll unlock 199 packs. And then there's a little funky tier going on into future prestiges. From level 1 to 100 you'll earn 10, from 100 to 200 you'll earn 12, from level 300, from 2 to 300 you'll earn 16, 300 to 425, and from 400 to 500 you'll earn 50 packs, which equates to about 113. If you add up all three prestiges with the first 500 levels, you'll earn you a total of 538 packs, which is your guaranteed heirloom. But you'll have to be in level 1,900 plus to even unlock your free heirloom without any outside purchases. Now here are my tips, tricks, and methods that you could use to help you guarantee that heirloom faster. Simply, my best thing to sell you is buy the battle pass. You get a bunch of free skins for your weapon and character, emotes, a bunch of voice lines. But the most important thing, you'll earn your Apex coin back as you go through the battle pass, so you don't have to purchase the future battle pass. You could use this one buying for infinite battle pass in the future until they take away you earning Apex coins. But most importantly, you'll earn 14 packs per season from your battle pass. This has been going on for the past 17 season and it just keeps going on now. Normally, there's at least one event per season where you can earn additional packs between 1 to 12 Apex pack per event, so make sure you complete your events. Another way to get Apex pack free is by completing your treasure pack quest. This will give you an additional 6 to 15 packs per season, which also adds up. You can also keep an eye out for when Apex is having a sale on packs. You can normally get bundles such as 100 packs for $67 or smaller bundles where they sell packs for just 50 cents per bundle, which is half off. Overall, grind a game mode that you have the most fun playing for experience and complete your treasure pack for free. This is the best method that you could use if you don't want to put any money into the game. Or, if you want to add additional fun to enhance your chances, you could buy the battle packs and buy packs when they're on sale. This is the method that I personally agree with and I just, you know, I'm not balling there yet. <laughs> and lastly, 
If you really are balling, just buy it flat out. It's $500 for an heirloom. And with that being said, I hope this information helps you learn a little bit more about heirloom shards. Once again, like, comment, and sub. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.